Welcome to Amazing Life 1-2 Channel Guides Today you watching Hilary Duff. American Actress. Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Photos I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video your favorite actress model singer celebrity biography photos images if you want to see please comment. Starting. Nickname Hill Gender Female Age 35 Years Old In 2023 Date of Birth September 28, 1987 Real Name Hilary Earhart Duff Profession Model, Producer, Singer, Composer, Author, Fashion Designer Nationality American Birthplace Houston, Texas, United States Religion Christianity Zodiac Sign Libra Height, Weight and Physical Stats Body measurements 3 4 2 7 3 4 inches body type hourglass height 5 feet 2 inches 1.57 meters weight 55 kilograms 123 pounds waist 27 inches hair color dyed blonde eye color light brown shoe size 8 US dress size 6 US Hillary Duff education school Harvard Extension School College Harvard University Hillary Duff career profession model producer singer composer author fashion designer Debut. Film. The Lizzie McGuire Movie, 2003. Net worth. USD $25 million approximately. Family and relatives. Father. Robert Duff. Mother. Susan Colleen Duff. Sister. Haley Duff. Marital status. Married. Husband. Mike Comrie M. 2010-2016. No of children. 2. Son. Luca Cruz Comrie. Daughter. Banks Violet Bear. Past relationships. Matthew Coma. Hillary Duff favorites. Hobbies. Not known. Favorite color. Blue, hot pink, red, yellow. Biography. Hillary Earhart Duff, born September 28, 1987, is an American actress, singer, and businesswoman. She began her acting career at a young age and quickly became labeled a teen idol as the title character of the television series, Lizzie McGuire and in the film based on the series, The Lizzie McGuire Movie 2003. Thereafter, she appeared in numerous mainstream films such as Cadet Kelly, 2002 Agent Cody Banks, 2003 Cheaper by the Dozen, 2003, and A Cinderella Story, 2004. She later appeared in independent films playing a wider range of adult-themed roles, such as a promiscuous pop star in War, Inc., 2008, a suicidal, rebellious teenager in According to Greta, 2009, and as the title character in the controversial The Haunting of Sharon Tate, 2019, inspired by the real-life Tate LaBianca murders. From 2015 to 2021, Duff starred as Kelsey Peters in TV Land's longest-running original series Younger, for which she received two People's Choice Awards nominations. Duff first came to prominence in the music industry after releasing her debut studio album, The Christmas-themed Santa Claus Lane, 2002, through Buena Vista Records. Her second album, Metamorphosis, 2003, was hugely successful, topping the Billboard 200 chart and earning a 3x platinum certification by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA. She enjoyed significant commercial success with her subsequent platinum and gold certified albums released through Hollywood Records, Hilary Duff 2004, Most Wanted 2005, and Dignity 2007. Following a hiatus from music, Duff signed with RCA Records for her fifth album, Breathe In. Breathe Out. 2015, which debuted within the top five in Australia, Canada and the United States. Duff has also been hailed as an inspiration by subsequent Disney teen stars such as Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Bridget Mendler and Selena Gomez, and has sold an estimated 15 million records worldwide. In addition to music and acting, she has also co-authored a trilogy of novels, beginning with Elixir 2010, which became a New York Times bestseller, and followed by the sequels Devoted 2011 and True 2013. Duff's success in the entertainment industry led her to venture into business with fashion lines of her own such as Stuff by Hilary Duff, Femme for DKNY and most recently the Muse X Hilary Duff Collection, a collaborative effort with Glasses USA which was credited to have boosted Glasses USA's sales for its premium brands. She has also invested in a number of businesses ranging from cosmetics to children's products. In 2019, she was appointed as the chief brand officer of Naturalina Brands, Happy Little Camper, and Vita, lines of products, although this partnership ended with a lawsuit in 2021. Life and Career, 1987-2000, Early Life and Career Beginnings Hilary Earhart Duff was born on September 28, 1987 in Houston, Texas. Her parents are Robert Earhart Duff, 
a partner in a chain of convenience stores, and Susan Colleen Duff, née Cobb, a homemaker turned film and music producer. Duff has one older sister named Haley. She was raised between Houston and San Antonio, the locations of her father's convenience stores. Encouraged by their mother, both Hillary and her sister enrolled in acting, singing and ballet classes. The siblings earned roles in local theater productions, and later participated in a touring ballet met production of The Nutcracker in San Antonio. Increasingly interested in the pursuit of show business, the Duff sisters and their mother moved to California in 1993, while their father stayed in Houston to take care of his business. The sisters auditioned for several years and were cast in many television commercials. Due to her acting career, Duff was homeschooled from the age of eight. The pair also modeled for various clothing brands. Duff stated, My sister and I really showed an interest in performing, and dedication, and our mother was like, how can I tell my kids no? It's the same as kids that are going into sports. Parents support them and push them. During her initial acting years, Duff primarily played minor roles, such as her uncredited part in the Hallmark Entertainment Western miniseries True Women 1997, and as an uncredited extra in the ensemble comedy drama Playing by Heart 1998. The same year, Duff landed her first major role as Wendy in Casper Meets Wendy, based on the Harvey Comics characters. After appearing in the supporting role of Ellie in the television film The Soul Collector 1999, Duff received a Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a TV Movie or Pilot Supporting Young Actress. In March 2000, Duff appeared as a sick child in the CBS medical drama series Chicago Hope. She was next cast as one of the children in the pilot episode of the NBC comedy series Daddio. Her Daddio co-star Michael Chiklis stated, After working with her the first day, I remember saying to my wife, this young girl is gonna be a movie star. She was completely at ease with herself and comfortable in her own skin. However, producers dropped Duff from the cast prior to the airing of the show. 2000-2006, Mainstream Success a week after being dropped from Daddio, Duff landed the title role of a newly developed Disney Channel series, Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire premiered on January 12, 2001, and became a ratings hit, with an estimated 2.3 million viewers per episode. Duff quickly became labeled as a teen idol and household name, particularly within the show's preteen adolescent target demographic. Disney began marketing the series through soundtracks, books, dolls, toys, and video games based on Duff's character, the company reportedly made an estimated $100 million from the show's merchandise alone. The actress was featured in the video game that was created for her Lizzie McGuire character and was released on the Game Boy system. Duff made her feature film debut in Human Nature 2002, in which she portrayed the younger version of Patricia Arquette's character. Duff also starred in the 2002 Disney Channel television film Cadet Kelly, which became the network's most watched program in its 19-year history. Duff began making appearances on various soundtracks for the Disney Channel, recording a cover of the Brooke McClymont song, I Can't Wait, for the soundtrack to Lizzie McGuire. She later recorded a cover of, The Tiki 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 Room, for Disney Mania. Upon expressing interest in a music career, production on. Duff's debut Christmas-themed album began. Santa Claus Lane was released in October 2002, charting in the lower portion of the Billboard 200 chart in the United States. The album was initially distributed through Walt Disney Records, with Buena Vista later re-releasing the project. It went on to receive a gold certification from the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, for shipments exceeding 500,000 copies. Despite initially only being released in North America, the album received numerous re-releases in the following years. Duff later signed a recording contract with Andre Reck of Hollywood Records to release future recordings. Though her early music recordings garnered much success on Radio Disney, Reck and Buena Vista Records envisioned Duff appealing to a more mature audience. In 2003, Duff earned a co-starring role in the children's action comedy film agent Cody Banks with Frankie Muniz. Scott Foundas of Variety called Duff's performance, charming, and thought she was, sidelined with little to do much of the time. The same year, Duff reprised her role as Lizzie McGuire for the Lizzie McGuire movie. The film saw her also portraying the character of Isabella Parigi, an Italian pop star who McGuire is later mistaken for. Duff recorded the original song, What Dreams Are Made Of, for the film's finale, which was later included on the film's soundtrack. She also recorded the song, 
Why Not, which released as Duff's debut single, though the song was not released as a single release in North America. The song became a top 20 hit in Australia and New Zealand, becoming her first song to chart worldwide. The soundtrack to the Lizzie McGuire movie went on to be certified platinum in Canada and 2x platinum by the RIAA. Duff released her second studio album, Metamorphosis, in August 2003. The album received mixed reviews from contemporary music critics, though it went on to reach the top of the Billboard 200 chart in the United States. The album became a major hit for Duff, going on to sell over 5 million copies within its first two years of release. The album sold over 3 million copies in the United States, becoming her highest-selling album to date and earning a 3x platinum certification from the RIAA. The album spawned the successful singles, So Yesterday, and Come Clean. While, So Yesterday, achieved platinum status in Australia, Come Clean, went on to become her first hit in the United States. Come Clean, was used as the theme song to the popular MTV series Laguna Beach, the real Orange County and went on to receive a gold certification from the RIAA. Metamorphosis earned Duff multiple awards and nominations following its release. Duff further promoted the album with the Metamorphosis tour that ran from November to December 2003. Later that year, Duff co-starred as one of the 12 children of Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt in the family comedy Cheaper by the Dozen, which remains her highest-grossing film to date. Slant magazine reviewer Nick Shagger wrote that Duff does nothing more than look perky and stylish. Lizzie McGuire aired its final episode on February 14, 2004, following the fulfillment of Duff's 65-episode contract. Despite reports that the series was in talks for a second film and further television spin-off considered for sister network ABC, these plans fell through as Duff's salary for the proposal was insufficient. The same year, she starred opposite Chad Michael Murray in the romantic comedy A Cinderella Story. The film went on to